Welcome to another Brightwell Dispensers installation video. Today we're going to be installing an Eco Multi standard dispenser. This installation is also applicable to our Eco Multi compact range. The Eco Multi standard is a chemical proportioner that dilutes up to four chemicals. The dial system at the bottom here chooses one of four chemicals. This video will guide you through the installation process using chemical entry from the sides of the unit. Before attaching the unit to the wall, in order to have chemical entry from the sides, you'll first need to drill out the side entry holes on the cover and the back plate. To do this, you'll need to remove the cover from the unit using the key provided in the accessory pack. Now you'll see the internals of the unit. This is a high flow version used for filling buckets, hence the natural colour of the internals here. Next, you'll need to unclip the non-return valves from the back plate. Then you'll need to release the retaining clips and then the internals will be removed. Once you've done this, you've then got your back plate ready for drilling. Once drilling has been completed, uh, you can mount the unit on the wall. To do this, follow the instructions within the manual uh, for first attaching the unit, uh, setting the water inlet direction and adjusting the dilution ratios. Now you can see I've already done this, uh, set the unit on the wall with my correct settings. Furthermore, I have attached some cabinets to the wall alongside the unit. For the purpose of this installation, I'm going to be using a pouch cabinet and a jerry can cabinet. If you're using four separate chemicals, you will need to use four separate cabinets. The cabinets must be mounted below the height of the chemical inlet hole. Please refer to the instructions for more detailed information. Furthermore, the direction of the chemical outlet of the jerry can and the pouch version of the cabinets can be changed from left to right. The next step is to thread the PVC chemical outlet tubes from the cabinets into the main enclosure. You will also need to cut the length of the tube to suit your installation. Once it's into the main enclosure, it should be attached to the non-return valves around the dial assembly. Once you've connected the clear PVC tubing onto the non-return valves, you should position the non-return valves such that they are adjacent to the chemical inlet holes. You should also ensure that there is no kinking of any tubing and that none of the tubing interferes with the internal workings of the unit. Once you've arranged your non-return valves and the tubing within the unit, the next step is to attach the outlet tubing. So this is my bucket outlet tube, making sure the arrows are pointed down. The next step is to replace the cover. I've already attached my pictogram labels here. Next, connect the water mains. Then we need to put our chemicals in the cabinet. So this is the jerry can with the foot filter. We have a pouch onto the pouch adapter. It just slides in place. And another jerry can. And that completes our installation. Thank you for watching. Please get in touch if you have any further questions.